ชิเกอร์ชูเบปริปินดายองลาชันบิตะฮิเดเลชูเทเนตะคินันโซยาดีเพเกดิเนปาลิเกจิปอลาลกุตุกงซิเกเรตะทันดาชาลาเนตันด
약보 중바 예. 약보 중바 인기래. 다 니, 답조, 답조, 펼개기 답조서나 중바 인기래. 중두, 다 니, 대시켜 보고 열래 니, 먼저 중두. 아, 대시켜 보게 매장. 아니, 소소 왕기, 니라 대시체 구글, 니라 염시체. 롬몽보 염시체네. 인지 깨라 간데 스포보래. 당연히, 그제 시에 깨라 박차, 참, 마도, 지기 답조, 대시, 겨투기 와라, 빼나, 지기래라고. 강중 망중 쓰니 인직이 직직가 밥세나 티에서 갖고 요래 인직 인직 먼저 계제시를 깔고 인직 인직이 된다 하고 그 성구 요래 때다 디시에 깨꽈도 되니 인직 직가 밥디 직 르렉니래 인직 직가 밥디 깔래 갖고 요래 딘데 인바 손자 파만 된게기 부구인념도 표게 변호나 Tene te nghe cha si kari yo sena ta tang bo ku yik chan ken tan da kasa inji yo tan da nghe te nghe tu si ke inji yo re nu chopa yo re pe ba yo re a ni kasa a ne pali yo re tu pa ta miri ta min da yo re ta tsang ma la ku yik ti lok ku nghe re inji min ji ku ya re ta son ta ngan tu tang bo tsang ma pe ba inji ane pali tsang ma la nyam tu ti nghe Tisabe che la tangi che si la yumi mang che wa nang be che luk chung che ya che te yore. Ani ta pyo ba tsu chi ge la shu ge tsu a pyo ge chang ga ta tia che bu chang be cha be che la a pyo ge chang be chung ba yi na ta ya bu chung sha sha ki tun ta te si ge tu ke ke ge nji nia pi nia ya pi mi si ka le ka go re ya bu chung du. Yako chung yore, yako chung ba yore, ta di nang shi ta di nang chung me yore, yi na yang di su chung ma la tis 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 ke ba yore. Te son ta tan ta ne pa ma chue bu gui nyam du, pe ke kyo ro na in ji ke ko ko yu, in ji ke kya pse ko yu chik le yu zang rang shi ke in ji ke king gire. Ta ani sin kang ne nang la pe ke ma ke ba yi na, ani Pergi cengi lagi, kokap pernah cawa ni yo mar. Di dalam bahasa Inggeris, inji bici pergi kuno na. Tadi, ani inji kela desi kaya coba cikari insan aya. Pergi pugu, pergi cawa ni masih kaya di dalam. Tadi, di dalam di nangla sensi nangi yo mar caca ni. Tadi ringal inji kela desi kaya di dalam, coba. Di dalam the thirty consonants. These are 30 consonants. So when we say consonants, we take out the vowels and the remaining letters are called consonants. So, ka, ka, this one, ka, 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 ga, ma, ka. Those letters written in blue uh, is showing that it's a word. It is a letter as well as a word. So, ka is mouth. Ka means mouth. So, ka. Ka. A spirit. Ka. Lotun. Ga. Nga. The word nga means I. Nga. Cha. Cha, cha, nya. Cha means tea, tea which we drink. Nya, fish. Ta, ta, da, na. This is also important. Na is if. If it rains, if they don't come, if. If you are in India, if this is important, pa, pa, ba, ma, ma is negative. Don't, uh, uh, don't do it, ma uh, There isn't any school. There isn't. This is negative part. So, uh, tela, lota. Yo, ma, re. 
ma negative ma so now english speaking students should remember that all those in second column are aspirated with which you, you won't find any problem but the first one ka ka da ma we don't aspirate so if you are english speaking student you might find some difficulty pronouncing this so uh, how do we do the first the uh, letters in the first column are high pitched and uh, uh, one should not aspirate. Now here, I will hold a piece of paper in front of my mouth and when I say this letter, the paper won't move. So here, ka, cha, ta, pa, ka, cha, ta, pa high pitched without aspiration now those letters in the second column should be aspirated with which english speaking students won't find any problem so ka cha ta pa So, to see if you are saying it correctly or, correctly or not, you can hold a piece of paper in front of your mouth and if uh, when you are uh, reading this le uh, letter, if the pa paper moves, in, it indicates that you are aspirating a little too much. And then uh, we go to the third column, all these are low tone. So, ga, ja, da, ba, ga, ja, da, ba. So, high aspirated low, high aspirated low, high aspirated low, high aspirated low. So, Pa, pa, ba, ma. So those letters written in blue indicates that it's a word as well as a letter. Now those letters written in blue, ah, uh, red, sorry, red. I'm trying to highlight these letters because English speaking uh, students and Nepali speaking students will have some difficulty pronouncing this. So when you say this, let ear go between your teeth, making a little hissing sound. So here, the, the first one is high pitched. You should have. Uh, you should wear a, a smile on your face. Za, high high pitch. Za. Those uh, one in the second column should be aspirated as we did before. Za. 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 Za, za, za as in zu, za, wa, sha, not sha, low tone, sha, sa, ha. So, this tree should be pronounced in low tone. So, sha, sa, ha. 
So English speaking students and Nepali speaking students should practice a little with these six letters which are written in red color. So Sha Sa Ya Ra A Ya Ra La. Okay, La. So this is important. <clears throat> so la <clears throat> la la is two two in what what sense for example i will go to India. I will go to India. I will go to. So this la represents English word to. So to in sense of a destination to. I will go to India. So we say ma gyagarla togiyin. My Gagala to be in La and La. This is uh, again important. Uh, me, her, uh, him. So when you say he gave me a pen so the word me from from i it is changed into me because you are the direct object so he he gave them a book he gave them so kongi kongchola kongcho is the word they Kongchola is them. So, Kongi, Kongchola, Tepchik, Nangsong. Kongi, Kongchola, Tepchik, Nangsong. And then, La is, uh, <coughs> La is mountain pass. So, um, most of the places, uh, around Himalaya have La, uh, Natula, Rawangla, so Natula mountain pass, Rawangla mountain pass. La is also mountain pass and La is <clears throat> uh, at related to time. So I will come is related this this word at related to time so I will come at three o'clock I will come at three o'clock na chuchu sumba three o'clock na chuchu sumba la so chuchu sumba la is at na chuchu sumba la yongin Na chuchu sumpala yungin and on on Sunday now again la is the English word on so I will come on Sunday na Sanyima Sunday Na Sanyima La on Sunday Na Sanyima La Yungin Na Sanyima La Yungin Na Sanyima La Yungin In In 
for example, in uh, 2002. So in, in 2002, in, again, la is in. It works as English uh, word in. So I came to India in 2002. So nga chilo nitong ni la jagal la yongbayin. Nga chilo nga chilo nitong ni chilo works as ad anidomika. So Christian calendar nga chilo nitong ni la jagal la yongbayin. In, uh, two, uh, uh. Yeah, I think it's about it. So, la. So, all those letters written in blue is also a word. So, this is very important. La. Sha, meet. Sha. Sa, ha, a. Okay, so today we are supposed to uh, learn vowels. 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 So, uh, in English you have five vowels. In Nepali you have more than... Ten vowels, I guess. Vowels. So, four vowels. Four vowels. Four vowels. <clears throat> so, there are four vowels. The four vowels are first. Kiku Second vowel Shachu Third vowel Tempo Fourth vowel, fourth vowel, Kiku Shachu Dembo Naro, Na Ro, Kiku Shachu Dembo Naro. So today we will work with Kiku, vowel Kiku. Bubble Kiku. So, bubble ah Kiku. Kiku. So we have learned thirty consonants. So consonant should be this one, and Kiku would will look like this. Okay, let me write with the red pen. This is Kiku. So, uh, let's say So this is consonant ka and I'm adding vowel kiku here 
So how do we read this? Ka Kiku Ka Kiku Ka Kiku Ki From Ka it changes to Ki So it works as uh, English vowel E Ka Kiku Ki Ka Kiku Ki So Nepali ma chai Yen ao yu ka Oh sorry Nepali ma sajire cha You boy, Ka 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 Ki So Ka Ki Ku Ki Ka Kiku Ki So Ka Kiku Ki Now if I add Kiku on top of this, uh, the second letter Ka 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 So if we add kiku on top of ka, so ka kiku ka giku should be pronounced ki. Now can you guess how to pronounce this if we add vowel kiku on top of a consonant ka? Can you guess? This is ka kiku. Ki Ka Kiku Ki So how would you pronounce this then? Ka Kiku Ka Kiku Ki The difference is Ki 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 And then <coughs> Ka Kiku Ki Ka Kiku Ki Ka Kiku Ki Ga Giku should be pronounced Gi. The difference is Ki Ki Gi Ki Ki, gi. So gi is also very important. So if you are to say, uh, uh, let's say they say a student called Tashi, Tashi. So in English you have Tashis. So it, this apostrophe as shows that something belongs to Tashi. So we said or of Tashi, government of India, of or apostrophe as or of the government of India, Tashis. 
these are same in Tibetan. So, Daki Gugi, this Tashis. So, uh, <clears throat> Tashis book. Tashi apostrophe S indicates that Tashi possesses or owns something. So, Tashi Gi. Tashi Gi Dip. Tashi Gi. Gi works as apostrophe S or the word O F of. So, Nepali Bhatsai, Ko. Tashi Ko. Ko. Examine important, though. Ko. Just a Yo Tashi Ko Ho Bandu Parian Chai. Yo Di Tashi Ko. Di Tashi Gi Ho. Ija Amele Si Ghe Tye. Ho Kasiri Bandu Ho. Yo Tashi Ko Ho. Di. Tashi gi chai tashi ko ho re di tashi gi re di tashi gi re di tashi gi re di tashi gi re so porno ma te ti time lag dai na mai le ek jana lai chauda ganda ma porno si ga ko thie arko ek jana amno sadhya se ko apno man chalai Satra Gonda Mali Porno Sigati, Titi Sata Saina. The Tara Tabi, you Azutabal, your first time here to the Savane, just go Agarico. First was a pilot, then go Pachari, second, then go third, your lesson say, fourth. Fourth. So you hear no one the Agari, pilot say, first lesson your nurse. Ah. This much for today. Have a uh, good weekend and I will add something new tomorrow uh, anyway. So um, yeah, so Sangin Jelyong.